Well, it looks like it's one of those typical aux to cassette adapters, but what interested me is all of the crazy little labels on it. It's like, can it not make up its mind? Compact disc, mini disc, digital compact cassette, auto reverse, this side up, car audio cassette adapter. Okay, that's, that's a lot of stuff. But so what it is, is it's, you know, it's being a universal stereo cassette adapter. And so it's just, plug it into anything, you know, like you're used to. But so what they're trying to do with this is show you that you can plug your CD player in, your mini disc player in, your digital compact cassette player in. They might as well just add in vinyl and MP3 and all kinds of other logos. Uh, so it's nothing different than what you're used to on these. Uh, it's got the usual gearing system in it so that it goes one direction and so the auto reverse actually applies because there is a braking mechanism mainly it works uh, sideways at vertical it'll yeah so it'll spin if it's upright but uh, when it's in a car stereo which goes in depends upon your player but uh, shove it into the player that way and so it lays down so the braking does work for that and so if the player tries to play it reverse it would auto reverse switch it over and go the other way and then you know again there's no real reason to have all these labels on there it's just an aux cable uh, these are standard you can get them everywhere and yeah so they just have a little tape head and we can kind of show you how it works it does my uh, cassette player doesn't like it and all the other ones that I have that might like it I can't get the lead out, so. Uh, my usual Harman Kardon DC520, so we'll just take this off here. All right. All right, so that's pretty good. And let's play some music. My usual test album here. Plug it in, set it to an acceptable volume, hit play on here. And if we hit play on here, See, the player automatically takes over. Let's pop the uh, volume. So you can't hear me as well, so the album's playing, and if we hit play... And then it uh, auto-reverses, so... It doesn't work in my player, but in theory, in a car stereo, when it's properly on its side, it should work. Let's just do a quick little teardown and see if it's just the aux straight into the tape head and then some gears. Uh, only one way to find out, right? So there's just a bunch of screws on the back. Show me what you got. Alrighty, and we pop it up. So here's the gears. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 that's... That's to be expected. So the gears are supposed to sit over here. Yeah. Oops. Well, I certainly tried. Here's some gears, and it worked uh, in theory. And this is the tape head. Now, I was under the impression that it was in stereo, but of course, there are there is no trust the label. And I certainly don't think that looks like a stereo tape head, but I'm terrible at obvious things. All right, so I don't have my usual magnifying glass, so we can't even macro it. But uh, if we notice, there are two pins to this tape head. And you can't tell, but I certainly can. Oh, maybe there's enough. Here, let's get a white background there. Should be able to make out that this line goes to that side of the tape head. And the two very thin stereo lines go to the other connector. So yeah, I would uh, pretty much say that that is mono because stereo tape heads obviously have four posts. Oh, and uh, the springiness that the tape head has in the cassette is from these plastic wings here. Press up on it. and uh, held in there quite well. It's nicely attached to this little rod here that holds it all in nicely. I think they uh, they melt these posts down onto it. 
So, I might say avoid this one if you want stereo, but if you want it to work, it in theory does. The braking seem nice. Okay, so I've got the gearing back in. So this is on, was it the front? Let's see, so this is the front plate. So this is on the back plate, as you would expect. So, by tensioning this here, oh, they're in here so loosely. Okay, so here's how the, so here's how the braking system works. It can spin in one way, no problem. Eh. All right, so this would be driven by the capstan or the pinch roller combination, whatever, usually capstan, of course, but, um, so that spins happily. But if we try to go in the reverse direction, what happens is this slips upward and that goes into a braking motion. And the reason it can slip forward there's this little cutout slot right here. So that allows this little piece to move up and that creates too much tension and then stops it from moving, acting like a brake. And then if you spin the other way, of course, it moves back down and then continues spinning freely from the gears. So that is how the little gearing mechanism works. I don't know, gears. So that's what goes into the cheapest of cheap for the uh, universal stereo cassette adapter thing. Now, whoop. now what? Uh, now what to do with the tape head? Hmm.